players had a little rest yesterday, a day off. We're going to bring back in today. Uh, the focus is going to be fundamentals today. It'll be a kind of a little bit briefer practice on and off, about an hour and 15 minutes. We'll see a lot of individual periods, some team run focus, we're switching to seven on seven, make sure we give the offensive and defensive line playing time going one on one, two on two, and five on four. And we're just making sure that we go through our previous installs, come out of today after a long week of practice last week, and eliminate the mistakes we made in the grass. After that, our focus will be going forward, some new install pushing forward on that. So that being said, any questions I can answer. You guys uh, activated Saquon off uh, PUP list. What, what can we kind of expect to see from him over the course of today and this week? Yeah, yeah so look, as they keep greenlighting Saquon to do more and more, we're going to let him do more and more. I always say all the time, look, I'm not the doctor. I'm going to listen to their guide and say the ones who are hands on with his rehab. Whatever they allow us to do, we will. So what you're going to see from him these first few days, he'll be doing mostly individual and teach periods. We're not going to put him in 11 on 11 or 7 on 7 at this point right now. But as we keep building him up, we really kind of start to, you know, get his body into the volume of practice, the pace of practice of the players out there, you know, more football drills. That'll be something that benefits him as going forward. There's only so much you can do at a certain point with the trainers and strength coaches on the, on the field by yourself. It's time to get them moving forward. And uh, as long as they say it's safe for him to do, we'll go ahead and keep on pushing it forward. He must have been pretty excited when you told him the news. He was. Yeah, he's, ta he's been tapping his foot for a while, guys. I've been saying this, this guy, you know, Look, he works tirelessly hard. He's been chomping at the bit. The biggest thing I just hit him with this morning was, I can't ask you to be patient, because that's not really natural for an athlete in this situation, but I ask you to be understanding and just trust the people who are making decisions with your interest at heart. Joe, so do you, have to, you have to worry about, as a coach, protecting Saquon. I mean, he's a bright guy, but he's also competitive. Protecting him from himself in his mind. You know, let me try this. Let me do a little more than I should think I can do. Yeah, I think protecting the player is tied in based on how we set up the practice and what he's available to do. So when we give him certain drills, that's something that's been coordinated with the medical team and the rehab group, and that's something that's tied into the volume he's going to have every day. So just the plan is what's going to protect him right there. We're not going to at some point see him do something, let him jump into a drill that he's not allowed to do. Uh, that, that's our job as coaches, make sure we regulate what's going on in practice. What does this mean for his path to be potentially be ready for week one? Yeah, I don't think this changed anything at this point. There's nothing different now than what I've talked about the entire time. We're going to be patient with him. We're going to watch how he responds to each situation. When the doctors say he's green light to go out there and do something, he will. I'm sure the next question is going to be about preseason. When he's green light to do something, we'll go ahead and keep advancing him for him. So I don't have an answer right now on anything preseason game-wise or regular season game-wise. We're just going to watch him on the field and see what he does day by day. Joe, are you all right with putting him in a preseason game now? In, in theory-wise? Yeah, theoretically, yeah. Yeah, I am, absolutely. And to be honest, I've had, I've had experience with this. So, look, there was a dad to walk in and tell Josh Gordon, Demarius Thomas, and Julian Edelman that, hey, all, four, all three of you are going to play against the Giants in preseason game four because you haven't done anything competitively in training camp. Now, they're going to naturally look at you like you're crazy, but the intention isn't to go out there and just say you just have to play. The thing is, before you get hit in the first game at full speed, when the speed does elevate, I want to go out there and just get you used to just the tempo of the game, the pace of the game, get you a catch, get you a hit, get the field being tackled. That's, that's natural preparation. You don't want to put someone in a situation where they're just getting gauntlet out there getting hit. But that's part of actually preparation, your body understanding and feeling the flow of how to get hit, how to fall, how to recover after that. So am I looking to put Saquon in something you know, that's not going to be to his best interest? Absolutely not. But if at some point the doctors say he's ready to play and we have the opportunity to get him into a certain point, we will. But I'm not going to press that timetable in. Joe, for how long now has he been on like a steady ascent to this point today without like a hiccup or anything? Do you, can you recall? I can't answer that completely. We kind of pace it out, Kim, based on pushing him to a point and then backing him off and then pushing him, backing him off. Uh, I'm sure we'll stay a little bit on that course as well as we go through training camp right now with him. Uh, but in terms of his ascent, that's been consistent. He's gotten better since, you know, we've had him. We're just being very careful in terms of how we manage it. And, and I always say we're taking a long-term perspective with this. This is long-term for him individually and the team, 17-game season, you know, years in the future. So you were the guy in charge, obviously, but how much say has he had, like, with you? Like, the two, the two of you, I assume, talked one-on-one. -on -one. Saquon? Yeah. Look, I listen to the players all the time. you got to trust them on how they say they feel. At the same time, uh, representing a question earlier in terms of protecting players from themselves, he is a competitor. You know, and he wants to get out there. And sometimes we've got to help these guys make the best decisions by putting them in periodically and making sure they're safe for what they're going to do next. Joe, uh, you have another player off Pup. Yes. Um, you know, he didn't really do much for you last year. By the time you got your hands on him, he was out. You know, I mean, what, what's your sense of him? It's certainly a position of need, that edge rusher. Talk about X-Man? Yeah. Well, we had X-Man for a period of time last year. We had him training camp, had games last year. He came back. It's unfortunate he had to deal with an injury. We're excited to get him back out there today. He's a guy that works really, really hard. Um, 
he's definitely someone we've been looking forward to getting out there on the field with us, you know, some team perspective. Again, we'll build him up a little bit as well. You'll see a little bit more from X-Man, you know, in the next couple of days, you will from Saquon in terms of some team and competitive things. Uh, but we're excited to get him out there, and I know he's anxious to get out there as well. What did he show you last year? You know, in that, in that, in that you know, well, he's a physical games. presence. I mean, he's got a pass rush ability from his size and his speed, really kind of more speed to power type guy. But in terms of holding the edge, playing with extension, shedding blocks, you know, X really plays more to his physical build, which is really power and anchor at the point of attack. So that's really his physical skill set. Not that I'm working to develop more things in that. He's a guy that's helped in the kicking game. He's had roles on defense. So we're going to look to get him involved in everything he did. Hey, Joe, you to are you going to break up Saturday, ones go for 15 plays or anything? No, we haven't made a final decision on it yet. And a lot of that will come into how the next couple days go. That's not looking at it in terms of do we have to go out there and punish someone at some point. But we want to see how practice goes the next few days. I will say this, the priority is still you know, for me is to treat this more like a traditional game four. And when I say that, it's more of a make sure all the players that we have to really evaluate get evaluation. And because of the rules this year, we have to cut five guys, you know, after the Jets game. I want to make sure that we don't make any decisions that impact our or their future without a proper evaluation. Joe, the way you kind of just answered the question I was about to ask, but is it safe to assume Saquon won't play on Saturday? Considering yeah, Saquon will not play this Saturday. Okay. Take two more. Hey Joe, where do you guys stand on Nate Ebner? I, we talked earlier this spring about possibly the plan being to re-sign him. Yeah, so Nate's continuing his rehab right now at home. He's been in touch with our medical team regularly. You know, I'm not going to go fully into his deal. I will say this, you know, Nate obviously was competing for a spot on the Olympic team. Um, the nature of Nate is he doesn't know how to slow down. So uh, it was a point where he was kind of pushing, pushing, pushing his body. And, uh, you know, he had to make a decision at one point. Um, he could talk more directly about it, but obviously he had to step away from the Olympics and, you know, kind of focus more on the football season. And he's in a point right now where he had to kind of step back and kind of refocus on the rehab process instead of worrying about going to Tokyo for competition. But I know he's working hard. That's just what Nate is, how he's wired. Looking forward to getting him. And uh, as soon as we get a chance to get him back, I'm anxious to get him back. Okay. Last one. Anybody? What do you, what, ultimately, what do you want to see from Saquon over these next couple of days, not just physically, but just in terms of its outlook with getting back on his knee. In terms of his outlook, I think this guy. Or just his, I guess his confidence maybe in that movement and stuff. Is yeah, I, look, I don't have any question with that. I think this guy's been doing a lot of football movements. In fact, I know he has, and you know, I know he has a confidence in where he's at. It's more important for us to really just make sure this guy's progressing on a daily basis. That when we put him back into team activities, you know, eleven on eleven, seven on seven, that he's at a position that he can go out there, operate at full speed, and protect himself.